Okay, so evening guys, welcome to another episode of The Viking Beard with me, Matt. And if you've watched any of my other videos whatsoever, you'll know that I'm trying to develop and grow a big epic style Viking beard, big, thick and bushy thing. And first time in my life I've attempted to grow a beard on purpose, not because I can't be bothered to shave, although it's handy now not shaving, um, but... On these videos, I'm looking at products from my beard, my face, my hair, bits of clothing and stuff like that, doing loads of reviews to try and find stuff that I like because I'm trying to make myself feel good, look good, smell good, and treat my beard properly, my skin properly, and my hair properly, because as I'm getting older, I need all the help that I can get. So what I'm priding myself on on these videos as well is everything that I'm giving you is my own honest opinion, okay? I'm not affiliated to any of the companies that send anything through whatsoever, I, so I can give my own honest opinion, and that's what I'm priding myself on. I'm not blowing smoke rings up any company's behinds, because what's the point in that? This day and age, cash isn't easy to come across, so I want to give you my own honest opinion on stuff and things that I think that you might kind of quite like that. I like we are open to our own opinions and can have them so stuff that I might like you might absolutely hate and vice versa so it's all up to interpretations but I'm giving you kind of my general idea on what I like and stuff that gets sent through to me or I go out and source for myself so tonight we're not talking beard or face we're looking at some hair products and these are being sent through to some guys we'll look at the products in just a second I have been using them for a couple of days so I know how they perform, what they're like. It's not just an unboxing and showing you, look, here's what's been sent through so I know how they work and what they're like, okay? We'll look at the packaging, ingredients, whether I think they're any good, price point on them. And at the end of the review, we'll kind of score them out of 10. 10 being absolutely fantastic, zero being never going to touch that again with a stinky stick. And five being, yeah, they're kind of all right, nothing to write home about, not bad, not great, but yeah, they're okay stuff. So, just reaching down next to me, the guys at Sanai, Sunny, Sani, have sent me through some hair products to have a look at and try and give them my opinion and give you guys my opinion on what I think of them. So what we'll do is we'll have a look. First, they sent a brochure through, and this is their brochure. Na, 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 na. And all the various products that they do. Dun, dun, dun. And this is a Korean company. So it's gonna, it was very interesting trying these to see what they were like. So starting off, with the company itself, um, all the ingredients that they use, they try to sort, uh, source from South Korea and around Australia. They're paraben free and they strive for using completely natural ingredients. So first of all, they sent me was a hairspray, which is a hair setter. Comes in a bottle like this, quite nice, simple sort of packaging. The sort of stuff you expect to see sitting on the side in the barbers when you go in there. Kind of quite nice, catchy looking sort of thing with all the ingredients and instructions for use and stuff like this. And this is a spray, just spray a bit so you can see <laughs> mist. So, this is a hair set of spray, and this is super strong. It's apparently stronghold, which leaves no stiffness or stickiness, and it contains blueberry extracts, which is good for hair strength, allegedly. I did not know that, but apparently that is what blueberry extracts does. Now, as you can see, apart from what I'm going down the top and the back and everything, part of the whole Viking look that I'm going for at the moment, I don't have much hair. So... I do have kind of quite fine hair. It's not nice thick main stuff like some lucky people have out there. So it is a bit flyaway and I was kind of interested to see how these work because I have found with some products is they make my hair feel really, really kind of like thin and even worse than it usually looks when I haven't got anything on it. So this, like I said, is allegedly a super strong hold. I have tried it. The nice thing with it as well with some hairsprays that you get 
in tins and the aerosols and stuff like that. I have noticed it does make my, feel, my hair feel really, really brittle. So it was nice to kind of try something that does still give my hair a little bit of a movement to it and not 100% crispy solid, sort of like stuck rigid. So yeah, yeah it was kind of all right. It smells kind of pretty much like a hair setting spray. It's almost got a fruity note to it, but I, should, I would assume that's the blackberry, blueberry extract. Sorry, not blackberry, blueberry. So that was that what they sent through. Now, also moving on. Dun, dun, dun. They sent me through the labeling the product itself. They sent me through some pomade. And this is Hair Slammer Pomade. Now, they put a scent on this. You do get a lot of fruity scents and stuff like that out there at the moment. This one is allegedly smoky, woody scent and with hints of tobacco running through it. Sort of. Sort of. I'm not sure what tobacco is like in Korea. I'm getting a very, very slight hint, possibly, of tobacco leaf on it. It's quite a sort of barbery sort of smell, that kind of smell when you go into barbers and you get your hair cut or your beard trimmed and stuff like that, the kind of products that they use. It's kind of got that cleanish smell, not detecting much sort of smoky or woody, but it's, it's a decent scent, but not necessarily that. And this has apparently got peony root extracts in it, licorice extracts. And the cool thing as well is it is water-based, okay? And the cool thing that I like about water-based stuff is like I've said in a lot of my other videos, that I work in a hot, sweaty, sticky job. And basically sometimes my head does start moving about and stuff like that. So it is nice to have something that is water-based that I can just dip a comb in the water, run it straight through my hair again, get it in place, and it kind of almost like resets it. I'm not particularly keen so far on the actual pomades that have got kind of grease in it because it, for me, it takes a long, long time to get out of my hair when I do wash it, and I because I've got very thin hair, I have to be very careful the amount of times that I dry it uh, or wash it, should I say, because it does tend to dry my scalp out a bit. And it's nice to get products out of your hair very, very quickly without multiple washing and still feeling like it's dirty. So I do like the water-based stuff. Just scoop a bit of this out so you can see it. Amberish sort of colour. It's It's got a nice shine to it through my hair and everything. Sometimes I do like going for that matte look, if you know what I mean, where it hasn't got any shine to it. And other times I do, kind of almost as I have at the moment, got it slipped through. And it, it's a nice smell of stuff and it kind of does what it says on the tin and it, yeah, works fine. So that was the Hair Slammer Pomade. And also going into the Box of Doom, they sent through so, da, 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 Hair Stunner Wax which has got apparently woody notes and pepper to it. Ish. Very, very, very subtle scent to it. It's kind of quite a nice pleasant scent when you get it on your hair. It's not an overpowering stuff. It's got a scent to it. Wouldn't necessarily possibly describe it as that, but it's not a bad scent. I do like matte stuff as well because like I was saying, the difference between using matte stuff and a pomade, I know you can get your light shine, your medium shine and your high shine stuff. Sometimes it's nice to look like your hair hasn't got a shine in it. I do like using matte stuff as well because I switch between products and stuff that I use in my hair because it's nice occasionally go for a different look. Sometimes they were just down on one side of my hair as opposed to back. And so this is a hard uh, matte and hard this is what it's called, and apparently it's a strong hold. I wouldn't say it's ridiculously strong, okay? Some of the waxes that I use in my hair tend to kind of keep it up all day. This I had noticed did kind of like after 
three quarters of the day at work, it was starting to kind of like fall a bit. So I did have to comb it back. And this actually contains beeswax, candarella wax, and organic, uh, organic, sorry, avocado, which is good for your scalp and nourishes your scalp. So it's quite nice. Um, it, it's, it's okay, pretty decent stuff, okay? Nothing ridiculously exciting, but at the same point, when you're talking about hair products and stuff, unless it's something that's gonna make my hair look like I'm some sort of Viking god, it's gonna be sort of okay stuff. So let's talk about the prices of these. The packaging itself is nice. I like the theming that runs through all of their products. If you'd imagine a barbers and stuff like that, it's gonna look quite nice all sitting on the shelf at home. So I think the packaging's pretty cut, pretty nice. Products itself, they're okay. They do what they say on their tin and they're fine. So prices. For the hair set the spray, which is this one, you are, I've found it online and you're looking at $18, which is working out roughly through a converter at around about 14 quid. With the hair slammer pomade, that's running in at $25, which is coming in at around about £19.21, give or take. Obviously, it's going to change from day to day because of the currency. And you've also got the Hair Slammer Wax, $19, which is walking out, uh, working out at around about £14.60. So, are they expensive? How, how would I rate them price rise? For the actual product that you're getting for that price i think nowadays because the whole greaser rocker uh, rockabilly psychobilly style and everything's come back in i have noticed that pomades are quite expensive at the moment where your regular waxes and stuff that we were all kind of using before sort of like everything started switching back to pomades and some of the top barbers and everything else i'm not mentioning any companies or names got into the pomade business so pomade seems to be really expensive stuff at the moment and your regular waxes gels and stuff like that are kind of keeping a lower price is the pomade worth it it's around about the same sort of price as other pomades that i've tried it pretty much does the same sort of thing it's got medium shine to it so compared to other ones that i've tried yeah i think that's pretty much worth it and not particularly bad £14.60 for the wax, what do I reckon to that? It It's a good product, it'd be nice if it was kind of roughly about the same sort of size as this one because as you can see there's two different sizes there but I suppose it's being a cheaper price. Yeah, it's okay stuff, it's not too bad. And the actual thing, £14.60. I mean, you don't use a lot of it. A few sprays just to hold stuff in place so you're not going to go through the bottle very, very quickly. I don't think it's particularly too much because you're not going to go out and buy all three because they have said online that you can mix these two together if you want something even stronger. But I don't see the point in mixing shiny with something matte because then, well, it's not going to be shiny. It's not going to be matte. So I don't like the idea of mixing them. But I think for the prices, it's kind of a roundabout average it's not ridiculously expensive and um, yeah i kind of think it's okay <coughs> now these guys do a lot of other men's kind of facial stuff and hair stuff online they just sent me through a few samples of stuff that they do so i'm going to put all the links and everything down to their instagram facebook and the website so please feel free to go and check them out and i have to admit delivery wise for the products and Sanai, Sani, and um, basically arrived very quickly and I'm in the UK so that's not bad considering it's Korean so they do arrive fairly quickly and so now it comes to giving a mark set of 10. Now I've thought long and hard about this do I score them as a job lot of three do I score them individually and so I've kind of decided that Rather than score it, because they're all different products, okay? They all have different things. So I'm going to score them individually, okay, on this one. So we're going to start with this, which was the hair set spray, 
I'm going to rate this at 8 out of 10. The reason I'm doing it 8 out of 10, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. It does what it says on the bottle and yeah, it's, it's okay. The pomade itself, I'm going to rate that one 9 out of 10. Because I am starting to get into pomades a bit and I have done another review on this for uh, Dapper Dan pomade. I'm going to rate this as a 9 because it was the kind of the same sort of setup as the Dapper Dan stuff. And yeah, it worked well. So a 9 for the pomade and the actual uh, hair slammer wax. I'm going to put this one at an 8 as well. So an eight is a good score, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's bad or anything like that. Why didn't I give it a nine? Why didn't I give it a 10? Because it was good and it does what it says on a 10. It is a really good product. I would put, I would, I will use these. They're not just gonna sit on the shelf. Um, but yeah, it's a good, decent product. I can't really say more than that. So there you go those are my scores we got an eight we got a nine and we've also got an eight as well like i say, i'm going to put links down below to their website instagram and everything else sorry <coughs> so if you are interested please feel free to go and check them out but thank you guys for taking the time out to watch another video from me and i hope to speak to you soon please feel free to like subscribe and comment down below i am reading all the comments because like i say i'm new at doing this if you're expecting some sort of video with sparkly music and things popping up all over the place you're not going to get it here i'm just doing plain simple reviews that you guys can watch draw your own conclusion and opinion with afterwards so i'm stuck in my little room here which is where i'm going to be doing all the reviews so all the reviews look the same because it's not fair if i start changing locations and making more ones look flash because the ones that i started with aren't going to look the same so this is where all my reviews are going to be taking place in my little hole and thank you guys so anybody out there wants to send anything through for me to review and have a look at I'd be absolutely stoked in order to have a look and try them because I'm trying to find my top stuff that I just want to constantly use. Skin stuff, beard stuff, hair stuff and what have you. So please feel free to get in touch. If you do have something that you think I might like, woody, outdoorsy smells, sweet, spicy Christmas stuff and everything, which I'm dying to get my hands on some. And so thank you guys. I will catch up with you in the next video. Please take care of each other. Keep loving each other. Keep on growing those beards. Feel free to join me over on the channel on Instagram and have a look at me over there and comment down below, subscribe and like. Thank you guys. I look forward to seeing you next video review. Speak to you soon. Have a good evening. Take it easy. Bye.